Good morning, my lights. Happy Tuesday. Uh, Boo is in rare form this morning, so you'll probably hear him. Um, he's in a rather vocal mood. And let's get started on this reading for my aquas. All right, that's, uh, that's already nice. I like the star. That's you guys. That is you. That is my lights, my stars. Okay. All right, so I'm seeing, I'm seeing my aquas. I'm seeing at least a few of you moving away from feeling uh, something is changing with your finances, okay? Um, you're moving away from the mindset of struggling financially, all right? And this did something, it shifted something, and you don't have a lot of money. It's not like you, you can go crazy right now, but you're not having that same feeling that you're holding onto your money possessively, all right? Now, this is for a few of you, and I'm seeing, you know, this defensiveness um, is, it's shrinking, I'm going to say, all right? You're not as defensive because you're more focused on you. You're more focused on uh, putting yourself on a pedestal, the nurturing, the loving, this is uh, raising your vibration, and you are starting to be able to manifest things, okay? So therefore, lightening the load. All right, I see justice coming. Um, again, this is for someone else, but it's financial, okay? You're using your intuition. You, This is someone who's been uh, spending a lot of time alone. You, you've been hermiting up. You're feeling confused about a lot of things. Um, so you just decided to um, take some time, do a deep dive, Think about a lot of things and I'm seeing that you're using your intuition regarding your finances. You're about to make some kind of change financially. Um, you're going to make some kind of move. This move is going to be your justice. And I don't mean like a physical move, like you're moving away somewhere. Some kind of move though. Some kind of change. Okay. Using your intuition is... Um, the best way to go right now, guys, in the situation we're in, where we're move, you know, moving back and forth into different timelines uh, due to the energies surrounding us. There are very forceful energies around us to help us um, with our physical changes. You know, we've talked about that before. You might find that you're not as hungry. Foods that you used to enjoy, you're not enjoying anymore. You're kind of turned off. Um, you know... Um, Drink a lot of fluids right now, guys, and you're going to find probably that you're exhausted sometimes, some days, just, just like yesterday, I came home, took a nap, and still, um, eight o'clock, eight o'clock, I went to bed. I was just exhausted. Um, all right, so these are symptoms of the ascension, all right, um, so here I'm seeing Okay, so this is like a, a message off of what I just said, something being taken from what I just said and added on from spirit, okay? So what they want you to know, Aquas, is they want you to stay very strong. There is healing going on right now. There's a lot of healing. Um, you know, there, there, I had a lot of knee problems. This is just an example. And I don't know why, but, you know, for the most part... They, they don't bother me anymore. It's like, I don't know what happened, but I had knee problems. I had injuries at my, my knees. Um, and now I feel like they still bother me from time to time, but nothing like they did. All right. They used to stop me from doing things. All right. But I'm seeing a lot of healing right now. I'm seeing, um, I'm seeing a partnership here of some sort and some kind of gift coming in. So this, this is more like, you know, a spirit behind the scenes, readying up something for you.
you know, I, I don't know if you guys remember, but a few videos ago, I said there were probably going to be some strange winds coming in and we had them yesterday. They weren't really strange, but it got windy yesterday. Um, the sun was out. It was a little different because the sun was out and all of a sudden um, in the afternoon it got windy. Um, and we needed that to get rid of a lot of that fire smell and stuff in the air, right? So here I'm seeing some kind of defensiveness. Yeah, this is family or work. I'm seeing somebody, somebody did something, um, tried to get away with something it looks like, or did something underhanded and made you defensive, right? Um, you're going to get some kind of message via phone or some kind of, um, uh, somebody's going to tell you something that is going to make you understand what happened more. Like you're still not going to like it, but you're not going to be as upset all right, it's not it's it's gonna look a little different when you get this information. Nice, very nice. Okay, so this is a feminine I'm picking up on here. All right, it looks like something um, something is coming to an end. Something is, somebody was giving to you and it's coming to an end. And this is really scary for you. Okay. Looks like, um, you were with somebody that was helping you financially and that is coming to an end and you're knowledgeable of that. And you're very scared about it or nervous about it. And, uh, but the thing of it is, is you're unknowing you, you don't know or understand about this Ace of Pentacles that is on its way to you. And this is far greater than what you were getting from this person. This is a wealth and, you know, prosperity. This is the hand coming out of the nothing, handing you off this huge pentacle. This is a lot of money, okay? This is going to free you up. It's over my freedom card, all right? And I'm seeing a lot of movement with this. And that generally means it's it's coming in fairly quickly. All right, so I have this Knight of Wands here, um, and I have this King of Cups here. So this could be brothers, this could be father and son, um, you know, some kind of situation where... Um, you're going to see something, all right, that's going to make you very happy. I mean, ecstatic. It's going to be a big deal, all right? Let's see if we can get more information on that. Because it's going to bring in a lot of happiness. All right, it looks like it has something to do with the children, uh, or child or children, and there's going to be some kind of, um, or there's, there's going to end up being a commitment or you've been committed the whole time to these children. Um, and here I'm seeing a lot of celebration, a lot of happiness, uh, family gathering, everybody's going to be really ecstatic over this. This is a big deal. Okay. Um, and I'm seeing that A balancing out, basically. A balancing out and a lot of financial stability coming in. And there is a commitment with this. Somebody is committed to these children and is bringing in um, something good to them. Um, all right, here I'm seeing uh, a lot of hard work. Hard work paying off, balancing things out. For this empress and this knight of pentacles who just went through a tower moment okay um you might i don't know what it is so i'm not going to guess but it could have been I'm just saying it could have been financial but whatever it was it brought in this tower moment all right and this is something that was very upsetting it might have been a loss of income like i said but i i'm seeing a lot of hard work between the two of you and the balancing out of the finances okay here I'm seeing stability and I'm seeing opportunities coming in for you now. 
All right, I'm picking up on a feminine. I'm talking directly to a feminine who has been feeling left out in the cold financially. The stability is coming in, okay, and um, the opportunity. So this opportunity is going directly for the feminine. This is your opportunity, all right, and it looks like somehow you're going to be adding to the stability with some kind of idea, some kind of creative idea that you're conjuring up thinking about right now it's going to be something um, that is needed right now something really good and it's going to be a victory all right I have another feminine over here this is an empath you're an empath all right um, you've been struggling with this broken heart okay you're trying to move past it it's very difficult. It's been very difficult for you. All right. I'm seeing something though coming, something that has been, you know, in the background, not seen yet. That is going to be a victory for you. All right. This is something actually that you've wanted and it's actually a lover. Okay. Um, even though something ended, um, something's going to begin. This is something you've wanted and you will be manifesting this yourself. You're going to bring this in. This is a lover. You're going to get mental clarity on this soon. And it's going to be somebody very intelligent. It looks like, um, and this is the page of wands going, coming in for this, uh, feminine here who is already well to do she's very independent um you don't you're good by yourself you don't really need somebody in your life but you would like someone in your life okay because you're feeling down and out actually um you know for some reason you've been feeling stuck lately um being by yourself and you know some sad some sadness all right um and it might just be because of everything going on in the world right now. It's making you feel a little bit, you know, shaken. And so you want this person in your life. You might have even suffered from a little depression. Um, this page of wands is coming in. This is somebody very intelligent. And yeah you you had an experience with this emperor who was a few years older than you mature um this was a, a good man but for whatever reason something happened where um you felt ignored by this person and stuck and this made you really upset so Possibly after this, you thought you didn't want to get involved with somebody, but you recently changed your mind, like I said, because, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on around you in the world and you changed your thinking. Your thinking is, you know, maybe it would be good to have someone, someone in my life that I could bounce things off of and have someone to talk to and not, not be going, you know, through these things, these worldly things alone. Okay. Um, Let's go further. Here I'm seeing a, a masculine. Here's your cycle. All right. Um, you're making up your mind right now. You're making decisions on um, something. I can't really see what it is, but I see someone uh, or something coming in for you very quickly. Um and this is connected to your cycle, okay? This is the whole slew of good things coming in for your betterment. I'm seeing this person over here coming in very quickly, all right? But for some reason, you're going through all this inner conflict right now and you have decisions to make. Maybe you're making decisions on something or you're on the, or maybe you're going to be on the fence when this person comes in. I'm not really sure, but remember this person is part of your cycle. So this person has to be something good for you. Remember your cycle is all for your betterment, right? Okay, guys. And this is awesome. Okay. Because this person coming in is going to have you celebrating. This is going to be a brand new start for you. Okay, um, spirit is saying, you know, start moving away from the negativity in your life. If you have any negativity, um, this is for all the aquas, start moving away, start looking out into the world and figuring out exactly what's going to make you happy. Um, this is a time guys where we're going to 
recreate our lives, literally, okay? We're going to get rid of the negativity, hopefully, and we're going to be walking into this whole new world. It's going to change. I mean, it's not changing overnight, but you're going to even now start hearing about these changes. I've already been hearing about, you know, everything, absolutely everything is being dumped and exposed right now about our food, about the air, about, you know, any, anything that's bad, um, that's not good for humanity is being dumped. That's why everything seems so terrible right now, okay? This is the best thing that could have ever happened to us. This is what is bringing in the new earth. I call it the new earth, but we're not really going to be on some new earth. It's still going to be here. Um, it's going to be in a different dimension, okay? There are different vibrational timelines and things of that nature. We're moving out of uh, the old and into the new. Our bodies are going through some changes, all right, some of us can go in the dark and move your hand around, shine a light on your hand, and you'll see sparkles. There's one right there. Um, yeah, these are these are uh, crystallines forming in our bodies. Where our bodies are changing, we're evolving as human beings. Okay, just like you know we've read about in our history books, things evolve. We're evolving right now. We're changing. Um, not as hungry maybe as we were. It drink a lot of fluids right now, guys. All right. Um, there's all kinds of symptoms. There's headaches. There's dizziness. There's lightheadedness. There's tiredness. There's um, what else? Um, emotional emotions all over the place. Okay. One minute you're feeling great. And the next minute you're feeling, you know, terrible. Um, so, yeah, this is all due to... Um, you know, us moving into the fifth dimension, it's very exciting. The things that are coming in, the things we're going to see, the changes coming in. I'm very excited. I hope you are too. And that is the reading, guys. I hope you enjoyed. You take care.